Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will do an in-ring overview of Alexa Grasso. We will examine the good parts, the bad parts, and the overall legacy of Alexa Grasso. Our goal is 500 subs by the end of April. Also I have an affiliate link to sports memorabilia in the description if you would like to help out the channel. Thank you for your support. Born on August 9, 1993 in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Grasso is just 29 years old and has already established herself as a force to be reckoned with in the cage. Grasso's fighting style is a unique blend of boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which she has been honing for nearly a decade. She first stepped into the MMA world in 2012 and has since been training with the renowned Lobo Gym in Mexico. Grasso's talent quickly caught the eye of many coaches, and she soon started training with Team Alpha Male one of the most prestigious MMA teams in the world. Grasso's coaches include Juan Carlos Montes, who has trained numerous MMA champions, and Justin Butchhalls, a former UFC fighter himself. Her hard work and dedication paid off, as she quickly rose through the ranks and made a name for herself as one of the top prospects in women's MMA. She currently holds a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and has competed in Invicta Fighting Championships. One of her most notable fights was against Mizuki Inou, which was awarded Fight of the Night. She also received Performance of the Night for her win against Jody Escobar. Starting with her honorable mentions, Grasso won her fourth professional fight against Karina Rodriguez in a unanimous decision at Extreme Combat 20, and her fifth fight against against Ashley Cummins in another unanimous decision at Invicta FC8, Watterson vs. Grasso won her fourth professional fight against Karina Rodriguez in a unanimous decision at Extreme Combat 20, then her fifth fight against Ashley Cummins in another unanimous decision at Invicta FC8, Watterson vs. Timada in December 2014 at Invicta FC10, Watterson vs. Tiburcio, Grasso fought against Alida Gray and secured a TKO victory with punches, making it her sixth straight win. In February 2015 at Invicta FC11, Cyborg vs. Tweet, Grasso faced Mizuki Inou in a fight of the night, which she won by unanimous decision. Next up, Grasso faced Jody Escobar in July 2016 at Invicta FC18, Grasso vs. Escobar, where she won in a unanimous decision and was awarded the performance of the night bonus. But her best wins include a unanimous decision against Heather Joe Clark at the Ultimate Fighter Latin America 3 finale in November 2016. Here Grasso demonstrated her impressive boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills. Moving on to her UFC fights, Grasso fought against Randa Marcos at UFC Fight Night, Petty's vs. Morno in August 2017 in a catchweight bout where Grasso missed weight, but still managed to secure a split decision win. In June 2019 at UFC 238, Grasso faced Carolina Kalkuix and won by unanimous decision in an impressive performance. In her flyweight debut at UFC Fight Night, Smith vs. Rakic in August 2020, Grasso fought against Jai Yoon Kim and won a unanimous decision in a dominant performance. In February 2021 at UFC 258, Grasso fought against Macy Barber and won a unanimous decision, showcasing her impressive striking skills. In March 2022, Grasso faced Joanne Wood at UFC on ESPN, Blades vs. Dockhouse, and secured a first round submission victory with a rear naked choke. In October 2022 at UFC Fight Night, Grasso vs. Arajo, Grasso won a unanimous decision against Viviane Arajo, securing her 15th career win. Grasso has also had some setbacks. First up, we have her loss to Fellas Herrig at UFC Fight Night, Bermudez vs. The Korean Zombie on February 4, 2017, in Houston, Texas. Grasso lost the fight by unanimous decision. Next, we have her loss to Tatiana Suarez at UFC Fight Night, Mayo vs. Usman on May 19, 2018, in Santiago, Chile. Grasso was submitted by a rear naked choke in the first round of the fight. Finally, we have her loss to Carla as far as that UFC fight night, Rodriguez vs. Stevens on September 21, 2019, in Mexico City, Mexico. This fight was awarded fight of the night honors, but unfortunately for Grasso, she lost by majority decision. Grasso has had some incredible moments in the octagon, but one fight that really stands out is her battle against Carla Esparza. Not only did she put on a fantastic performance, but she also earned the fight of the night award. That's a testament to just how exciting and dynamic Grasso can be in the cage. But that's not all. Grasso also holds a record for throwing the third most significant strikes in a three-round fight, with an incredible 369 strikes landed against Carolina Calculix. That's the kind of performance that gets people talking, and it's a clear indication that Grasso is ready to step up and challenge for a championship. 
but Grasso's legacy is about more than just wins and records. She's also been a powerful influence on the sport of MMA as a whole in Mexico. Her style is a unique blend of boxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and she's shown time and time again that she has what it takes to compete at the highest level. As Grasso continues to rise through the ranks, we can't wait to see what the future holds. If you stayed around, please share and like this video, and subscribe to this channel. Also, I have an affiliate link to Sports Memorabilia in the description if you would like to help out the channel. I got another video right here. Thanks for watching.